What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Too Hardy back with another reaction video, bruh. Back with the Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? Not gonna lie, they drop this thing like once a week. This coldest balls thing once a week to like F it. We just gonna make it a series. So you expect these Kevin Hart videos at least once a week. Because why not? Like, why not? Like, like it's funny, it's stupid, like, you know, why not react to it, bro? So right now we have was a Kevin Hart and Sean White. I don't know who Sean White. Sean White's either snowboard or skateboard. One of those. Snowboard. Definitely snowboarder. Alright. Definitely snowboarder. Alright, alright, alright. So we're gonna get started, bro. Ooh, snap. What's going on? I'm Kevin Hart, and we are back for season six of Cold as Balls. It gets bigger and it gets better. You put eyes on me, I bust your <laughs> you too. <laughs> I wonder why he has the half. Hey, 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 Kevin Hart won over two. How are you? Good to see you, dude. Look at you. I'm good. Yeah, right on. Okay. I'm good, man. You look good. It's gonna right be great. Here we go. You put it right there. Uh -oh. Hang on, I'm on the hook. Yeah. All right. All right. How's retirement, man? It's good. It's, it's good. good. I thought I would have to do much more of that. How old is he? He's probably what? Forty. Get in. We sit on a bed. Sean White probably forty. Sit up for a little bit, then we slowly get into the cold tub. I gotta mentally prep. You'll be all right. Yeah. Bro, white people yeah. don't get cold, bro. Get in there. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, come on, stop cheating. Sit on the back. Sit on the back. Can you make me get all the way in? Yeah, sit on the back. Yeah. Boy, try to cheat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Coldest Balls. Of course, we are You never get into cold something straight up. You got like 15 gold medalists. Damn. You're tired now. I'm pretty happy about it, though. Really? Yeah. Is it weird? You know, if it were a traditional sport like football or something, like it's hard to like keep doing that sport. Snowboarding, I can still go snowboarding. Snowboarding, like, called it, called it. Did you little snowboarding. Like an emotional? Oh, for sure. I was trying not to, but I got to the bottom, and all my competitors are waiting there, and they were like telling me all these stories how I influenced their lives. That really got me. Well, the crazy thing about you, you've been great the entire time. When I started, there was no Olympics. Like, that wasn't even an option. Mm -hmm. X Games had just started. It was completely different than what you see today. Mm -hmm. There were, like, really no future in it. And I just love the sport. You're a part of history. Oh, you're, you're, you're a part of <laughs> in history when it's yeah. attached to this sport. I heard at age seven, you, you had sponsors and then? Yeah, well, that's what's, what's wild. Is, like, at seven? I didn't even make kids board. My mom took me to the mountain. I was like, I got to do this thing snowboarding. They rented me a board, but it was giant. And so my mom called Burton Snowboards. I was like, my son, he snowboards. She dropped. I went snowboarding once. One time, I was like eight, nine, seven. One of those numbers. I, and we went snowboarding. It was the funnest moment of my life going snowboarding. Because it was either snowboarding or skiing. And skiing is cheese. We don't ski. Right? If you ski, you're lame. Only snowboard, bro. And I haven't been back since. But I plan to go back, bro. I think I can be Sean White. Just with a little bit of practice. Like, he kills it. <laughs> you, know? you know, it just so happens we're going to make kids boards this next season. So why don't you, you know, stay in touch and we'll, we'll get them aboard. We share, you know, we share. Oh, I thought he was talking about yeah, Kevin yeah, Hart. You were at the Joyce Day 7. Yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. What, what for? All right, let's take a quick commercial break. White hand, please. Oh, yeah. White hand. And of course, I got some new. Oh, it's time to talk about that nourish with avocado oil. Ooh, it's got a lasting scent and plant based hydration. Go get you some. Mm, right here. Thank you, man. How old are you now, Sean? 35. After retirement, do you free, S free ASMR. Like, I'm a little. Ah, I know y'all heard that. Yeah, like, I know now what's going to happen if, if things go wrong because it's happened and now I have that life experience. Give me your scariest moments. I was in New Zealand. I'm getting ready for my fourth Olympics. I'm having the best day ever. And I'm thinking, all right, today's the day I do this trick that I've been like procrastinating. And right away, I take off. I know it's wrong. I'm like 20 feet in the air going, oh, great. Like, this isn't good. <laughs> and so I come down, I hit the wall. And then I bounce, and the wall's 22 feet. So I bounce to the bottom, and what broke my fall was my face. My forehead was split open. God. My lip was ripped, tongue was like hanging. And this is what kind of scared me, because I was like, how bad is it? Damn. <laughs> well, you f yourself up, man, yeah. <laughs> and you can't see it. You're just going off of everybody else's face. Yeah. Oh, sh 
I don't even see the scars on his face. Look at his shoulder. I know y'all see his shoulder bone popping out. At this point, we're like two weeks from the Olympics, and I'm having a meltdown. I haven't done the trick. I'm terrified to do it. I'm like, I'll just do it when I have to do it. So fast forward, we're at the Olympics. I'm sitting there going like, all right, it's now or never. I got to do it. And I nailed it. And that was awesome. That was just like one of the highlights. I am going to be honest and tell you that was probably one of the best stories yeah. that I've heard. <laughs> All right, Sean, time for us to yeah. get in the tub a little more, okay? We just sit on a stool in the back. Oh, yeah. Hmm? There you go. Right? That's bro, he doesn't get cold, bro. You had some surgeries too, right? You had over heart surgery. The dude was probably yeah, born in an ice chamber. Really walking survivor. Well, it's funny, too, because I kind of hid that I had the heart surgeries for the first Olympics because, you know, they grab onto things in the media, and I didn't want oh, to no. be like, heart surgery miracle boy does whatever, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't want that as my title. <laughs> my surgery miracle boy. Medical boy. <laughs> yes. You can see the, the bit of the scar. Mm -hmm. We'll see it. But, uh, yeah, I heard what's called tetralogy. Oh, I see it. I see like, it. Uh, like, you got to stare at it, though, but I can see it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. These dudes are That's weird, bro. What are you doing? These dudes are weird. You don't snowboard. And what are you doing? You damn sure don't snowboard. Just because you got the boy. Damn. Get him with a jab. Mm, mm, mm. Stop it. Sure, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, you know, I dabble. I dabble on the mountains a little bit. Getting on the, on the snow. <laughs> You're pissing me off. Okay. Oh, All right. Man. Okay. I know they call it the double black diamond. That's right. Bro, how do they hold a straight face during this, bro? This isn't even a snowball. It's not even a snowball. This is what you're doing with your spare time? Huh? Well, stop it. You, in the sport, there has to be somebody that motivated you to get into it. There has to be somebody that acted as a mentor. I would say it would be like Tony Hawk. Ah, I ran into him at the skate park. He yep, skateboard. So Tony Hawk was a they skateboarder. Up this okay. awesome skate park at the YMCA. He would be there all the time. And so I go there, and I had this fantasy that if, like, I just skated really well, he might come talk to me. He came up, introduced himself, uh, asked me if I wanted to come to this, like, skateboarding demo with him. My mind's blown. And after that, just, like, we became friends. You know? That's insane. Yeah. And he took a liking to you. By the oh, way, yeah. one of the nicest guys and one of the funniest yeah. guys. Yeah, he's a good guy. I like that you yeah. guys are, are very similar. If it wasn't snowboarding, yeah. what else could it have been? My Cricket. dad wanted me to be a surfer. I'm named Sean after So Sean just riding stuff. Like pause. <laughs> okay. I'm like, okay. It was like his decision, right? So pause, pause. Push the kids into things. It's tough. You basically, your dad is forcing you to surf. Oh, it's tough. I'm picturing, when I look back, it's more of a grainy with film that's playing out. And it was, it was cold and it was storming. And he takes me to the beach and drags me out through the surf. And he's like, this is the way. And this is a huge way. And I'm thinking, like, oh, my God. How old, how old are you? Five or six. God, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> like, five or six? I thought you were saying 12. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he takes me down there, sends me down the wave. I go under. I try to get air. I get swirled again. Board hit me in the face. I'm, like, bleeding now. And I'm like, I hate that single tear, you know. He Absolutely. Wanted, he wanted it. Is there another thing that you love, too? Oh, I fell in love with playing music. I, I wanted to guitar. I still work on You're not, you Called it. You're a band, don't you? Yeah, had a band well, I had one back in the day. It was like some friends from the neighborhood and stuff. What was the name of your band? It was called Bad Things. Were you the lead singer? No, I was like the lead guitar guy. I love it every time you called it. Like, every time you say it, you do this right here. You <laughs> twitch. You gotta get that face going. The light. Where I played saxophone you? back in the day. Like, is that something that you were passionate about? I don't, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that was just the best part. What was wild about it is I had never done like a team sport. Yeah. Snowboarding was like, okay, I do this, I do this, and with the team effort, it was crazy because it's like somebody's birthday and this going on, and then I'm like, wow, okay, this is hard to like get everybody on that same motivated, you know, that personality. Yeah, yeah. that's dope, man. Yeah, I, I had a, I had a group. Okay, uh, we had a group. <laughs> it was a group called G Bed Night. Like I'm looking for you, I know you see me too. What you wanna do? I'm trying to. It's seven days and Oh, uh, he's lit. Because <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh. So was, oh, that's that what's was, on my mind. I know you know. Is he 
recording? It's your time. Hey, you need to relax. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Play some. Oh. Oh, uh, oh we gotta yeah, go in deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Wait here. We're about to grab a stool. Just give me a stool. Get in deep, okay. man. I know no stool. Just go in. Okay. Raw okay. doggy. I know. And I'll get, I'll get it. Give me a second. Hey. Hey. Get, get your hand off my hand. Back up. Back. Just take it. Go. Give, give it the white hand. Give it the white hand. You don't need your help. There ain't supposed to be two white hands back there. It's only one. Oh, what happens to the black hand? Much. There's supposed That's to be a black hand. Name the hand after you. Oh. You think they get his powers? That beard. You showing up this season with a got beard. You didn't have it before. You suck. Wait, you think they get his powers, bro? That'd be so awesome, bro. Like, imagine if like, if, like Troy Palomalu cut his hair, and like my man just put on a Troy Palomalu wig, got the curls flowing, and boom. Y'all ever seen like Thundershock? Thundershock? Thunderstruck? Something like that. Some, some, something like that. That'd be lit, bro. It doesn't well match. Well played. How much did you pay for it? It does look nice, sir. Top dollar? All right, Sean, we're going to play a little game right now, right? Okay. Basically, you got to name two tricks, and you got to make up one, and I got to tell you the one that is real, and I'll okay. do the same to you. Called two tricks. Two tricks and a lie. Yes. First trick is a front side roast beef. Ain't no good. Roast beef. That's a thing. That's, That's a thing. That's a trick. That's a trick. Call it. <laughs> Is that the worst trick? Oh, what is it? Back up! Jam! Jam! you would love to do. All you want to do is eat. Damn! You need to grab. Ah. You grab between your legs on the back edge. Okay, give me another one. Switch. Revert 360. Okay, give me one more. That's gotta be a trick. Frontside double cork. 1200. Fuck out. Frontside double cork 1200 is real. No, that's fake. <laughs> The middle one isn't real. That would have done it. More ice. My turn. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Jab. All the tricks sound fake, anyways. I got them. I gotta keep track. Here you go. First one. Yeah. The double back twirl. Mm. Twirl top tip. I wanna. F and the other one is um, the sliding handbag tuck tip mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. with a double dip. And the last one is the journey in the. <laughs> Which one of those is? <laughs> wow. Open the last one's fake. Nope. Sure. Nope. Journey <laughs> is real. So real. real. These are easy tricks. But yeah. what is not easy is accomplishing what you've accomplished. Okay, and we're talking about history. You know, don't fool you with the sport. You gotta go. You gotta keep your hands on these younger people, man, to the best of your ability. Will you, will you okay. stop? Stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we learned some more stuff. And that's the that even. <laughs> so sick of you, man. Snowball fight! <laughs> Bro, this show is so stupid. This show is so stupid. <laughs> Kevin Hart's another episode of Kevin Hart's Cold as Balls, bro. Bro, this show is so dope. <laughs>
Ooh, they start just throwing balls at each other, bro. But no, uh, Sean White's a legend. Sean White's a go. Never really knew who he was. Well, I feel like I did. I didn't really, 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 really know who he was, but now we know who he is. If I see him on the street, I'll say what's up. But like, comment, subscribe, more videos on the way.